I'm live. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to tonight's show. Hang on, I'm just checking everything's working. Right, so Nikki, who normally sits here, isn't here, as you can all see. So earlier on, or the other day, she started to get a bit of a cough, but we'll let her tell you. She is with us tonight by the magic of... Um, I have her in my ear. I don't know if you guys can hear her in my ear or not. don't think you can, but I can hear her in my ear. She's laughing now. By the magic of computerization brought to you by the 1970s and 1980s, I can bring her in. Ta-da! Here she is. Everybody. Hello. May I introduce Nikki, who is currently in the isolation chamber <laughs> in our caravan far, far away. Hello. How are you tonight, Nikki? I'm getting there, thank you. <laughs> You're getting there. Yeah. So you had, um, you've been having this tickly cough, haven't you? Yep, I started on it. I didn't feel very well, did I, about Wednesday. And then... Yeah. Um, uh, so I went into work on Wednesday, felt okay on Thursday morning. <coughs> and as the day went past, I started having a little cough. Um, yeah. Went for a run yesterday evening, did a five mile run, come home and I had severe abdominal, abdominal pain. Um, and then um, the cough just get, um, <coughs> the cough just got worse overnight and it got a bit worse this morning. Um, mm. On Wednesday, when I didn't feel very well, started to feel poorly. I ordered the home test from the Gov site, um, and that went off this morning. I sent that, did all that what I had to do, straight down your back of your throat, made you heave, um, yeah. and then um, I had to put it up your nose, both nostrils five times. <laughs> both nostrils five times? Yeah, well, I'd turn it around five times. Um, what was it, like a cotton bud? Yeah, it's like a long cotton bud, and then you had to snap it off and put it in the tubes ready to send off. And that made my eyes water quite a bit. <laughs> so, like as long as this pen, like as long as this pencil. <coughs> yeah, about as long as that. But you only put it up until it starts getting tingly. Then you twist it five times. But you have to get to your back of your throat and scratch the back of your throat. So, like that. <laughs> yeah, twist it five times. And then, <laughs> right where, kind of where your gag reflexes. Yeah, is. you do your back of your throat first, then you do your nose after with the same swab. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? Oh, you do your nose after yeah, you do yeah. your throat first, or your no, nose? your mouth first. <laughs> Does it say that in the instructions? Yeah, <laughs> well, it would be a bit. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to put my no, nose no, bits no. in my back of my throat. <laughs> no, no, not at all. So um, tonight we are going to be doing the quiz as normal. Um, obviously, Nikki is not in the room with me because she's full of germs. <laughs> So she's been banished for now. So we're quite lucky that we have got, um, we've got a caravan. So I'm isolated in the caravan on my drive. <laughs> yeah, I've sent her to live in the caravan. Um, and she's quite happy out there. She's got electric and water and everything. So a uh, toilet and all that. So there's no reason for her at all whatsoever to come back into the house. <laughs> he's made sure. Of that. Is there? No, he's made sure he's connected <laughs> the toilet up. He's connected the shower up. He's yeah, she said to me, she said, up. She said, um, oh, I'll come and um, I'll just come and can I come in for a shower? I was like, whoa, 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 whoa there's a shower in the caravan. I said, I'll click, I'll connect up all the drainage and that. And you can just use the shower in the caravan um, and the toilet and everything. So everything's connected now. She's totally self-sufficient. Even if there's a power cut, she'll be better off than me because the caravan oh, has a, so, a solar panel on the roof. And there's a 12 volt TV and, tw and gas and everything out there. So she'll still have cooking. She'll still have cups of tea. She'll still have TV. It's, um, yeah, it's win win for us. So it's more earlier on when you weren't there, we need to just say hello to Gary. Hello, Gary. Hello, Julie and Gary, actually. Hello to, I'm looking at my MacBook's camera instead of the one on the home Mac. So hello, Julie and Gary. Oh, definitely yeah. say, hopefully. Finn and Harrison are on already. So it's hi, Finn and Harrison. I know Finn wakes up every week and he says to my friend, Laura, he says, Laura, it's Friday night. That is Friday. That means it's quiz night. So I couldn't let him down by not doing a quiz. 
So hi, Finn and for Harrison, if you're on yet. If not, I'll give you a wave later. Uh, which is the which is the kid who um, who was on last week? Oh, that's Alfie and um, Alfie, Harris, that's... and they are with. Um, I've lost it. I've lost who it is. Who, who mum and dad they are? I, for, I forgot as well. Rachel, are they in Rachel, chat? Pascoe's and Whiteheads are going to get the are going to get beat by Sue Langthorne tonight. So they say. <coughs> Uh, Nick Whitehead says you haven't got a chance, Longthorns. <laughs> I think you'll find they're the reigning champions. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, yeah, I hope I get better too. Needs to go right to the back of the throat. Yeah, tickle your tonsils. Yep, that's what I did, and it made me go. That the um, the testing kits actually we they they were delivered by Amazon. Weren't yeah, they? we thought it was an Amazon. They came in an <laughs> Amazon box. I was, <laughs> was a I was expecting a. a, a something from amazon and this big huge box came and i said to nikki i went well this is a bit overkill because the box is like a shoe box and what i've ordered is just like a foam <laughs> thing that goes around the gopro so it's just about this big and very very light <laughs> i thought it'd go in a little envelope i went well this is overkill and then we opened it and inside was the covid um, 19 testing kit no there wasn't 19 just... testing kits there was three for all of us oh COVID yeah, 19, COVID 19 <laughs> testing kits <laughs> 19. So... we'd ordered 19 now we'd ordered three uh... for our Everybody <laughs> in the family. Yeah, so we got the testing kits, and um, I haven't done one because I'm not showing any s symptoms at yeah, all. Yeah, they're so. isolated uh, anyway, Kirsty. They're isolated in the house, but they're just separate from me in case um, I've got it and they're okay. But they've got no symptoms yeah. at the moment. Yeah, so obviously we're just keeping our test kits, and if we show any symptoms, then we'll use them. There's no point using them. Oh, I don't think there's any point using them. We're not going anywhere, so. Um, the only place we're going to spread it is between ourselves. And if we've already got it, then, <coughs> you know. So I'll wait till um, till I show any symptoms. But I'm, we're not. Me and Tommy are absolutely fine. Uh, Nicola, yeah, I'm getting meals delivered to my door. Um, yeah. I only get half I mean, of it, though, because I didn't really fancy it. But I, I did enjoy it. <laughs> I did deliver a rather healthy kebab, kebab and chips <laughs> from the chip shop. <laughs> Debbie, everyone on. in Portsmouth who's playing tonight. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> yeah, John. Oh, that's it, John. John is the Alfie's. John, you're Alfie's dad, aren't you? I'm sure, it's John. Rings a bell. Got so many, and I'm so ill. It's like I can't remember. Um, say say hi to Ki 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 Kira. Is it Kira or Kiara? I'm Rachel. I think it's Ki Kira. Kira. Gary, big out, big shout out to the Fords and the Scots, please. Gin and chronic in the house from Claire. <laughs> Hi to the Emery's from the Cooks <coughs> and to Emily and Dave. Welsh Wizards in the house. Yeah, that's it, right, Alfie and... That's it, John. I got so confused then. Is Alfie and Keris in the house tonight? Oh, Andy. Alfie and Keris is in the house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to beat Alfie. I'm going to beat you, Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've got the quizzes on you, so you, that'd be... I've got, I've got the answer. Actually, I've only got the answers to the flag round we've got a flag round coming up i've got the answers to the flags here um they're answers to last week oh okay then i've got together. the answers to everything else i did tonight um well i have got the answers but they're on a pdf in my email so i haven't excuse me i haven't um physically got them in front of okay me. oh wait look i'll have a little play along like i did last okay week. that's cool so yeah so tonight we've got let me have a look on my tune <coughs> on my thing because <coughs> what i've done i didn't print it off tonight i put it on my I've left it on my computer. Saving trees. Oops, sorry, I just whacked my microphone. Yeah, saving trees. Let me get it on there. Um, it's on my Word documents. <coughs> <coughs> right, hang on, it's coming up. So we've got anagrams. We've got anagrams of... Um, so not many quizzy questions tonight, unless Andy's going to do his trivia pursuit. So we've got connections. I've yeah, got, I can do some trivia pursuit. I've then. got 10, 10 questions. All the answers to the questions are going to be linked to the main answer. And that's going to be your connection. So I'm going to give you 10 questions. The answers to your connections, <coughs> the answers to your questions will be, look at them all together and that's going to be your connection for that one. Um, there's two of those rounds. Then I've got TV anagrams. <coughs> anagrams of UK cities. 10 who am i's and then the flags of the countries and then andy has got his trivia pursuits yeah and he needs to slow down that beer because he literally got in 10 minutes ago and he's drinking his beer he drank one bowl <coughs> it's how do you know that's drunk 
this might still be full. It's not because I just see how much you tipped it back. <laughs> All right, that's my pre warm up, but that's um, what they call it. Um, I don't know what they call it. And I've got my nice little cup of tea. Yeah, <laughs> cup of tea. Cup of tea to try and heal my throat. Okay. So what do you want to do first? We, we wait for people. Lots of people usually say, oh, look, my thing hasn't gone up. So we've got Wayne Buzzle in the house as well. Hi, Wayne. You're supposed to be looking at this more than me. <laughs> who? You. You. Who, who else am I speaking to? The cat? Well, I, I haven't got your Facebook page in front of me, oh, so I can't tell I've you got who's joining. i on it. Oh. I've, got, I've got my chat. Oh, okay. That's right. And you're in charge of your chat. Oh, okay then. Right, okay. So bring it on, Whiteheads and Longhorns. That's from D Pasco. <laughs> Rachel, Kira Yi, Kira Yi, Kira, Kira, Kira Yi, Kira, Kira. I'll spell it to you, Andy. See if you can say it. K E E R A Y E with a dash. K E E R A, then Yi. Kira Yi, Kira, Kira. I don't know what's this in. Is this in Facebook or? Ah, that is in yeah Facebook chat. Let me just let the cat out. Oh, then. Right, I've got your um <coughs> Kira Yi. Kira Kira Yi. <laughs> Can I just say Kiri Kiara? Okay, I've just put your chat on and then I'm gonna put um if I put your oh, Facebook. Oh my page. friends are from Guernsey are back. Louise and Adrian. Hey Louise and Adrian from Guernsey. Okay, I am in my name is Captain Birdsey from Southampton. Okay, Andy. <coughs> <laughs> Captain Bird's here from Southampton. Danny and Jodie Captain saying Bird. hello from Bromley. Peak saying hello from Plymouth. <coughs> Dave, hi to the cans from Dave and M. Kiara. First, Kiara. First neighbours of Gary and Julie. Cheers, Nikki and Brian. Welcome, Nikki. Sorry, Nikki and. Yeah, Brian. Welcome, Nikki and Brian. Welcome to the quiz. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it and you'll be back next week and I will be better. <coughs> Hi, and John Harden. John Harden said you bring the cat with you. She's not supposed to have the cat with he her. In, I went in to go get my pajamas and everything, and he jumped in. He was back in here. <laughs> yeah, well, I banned her from having the cat in there because of ah, okay. in case she's carrying disease. So it's Kira. Hi, Kira. There you go. I think I've got it right this time. <coughs> Edward says, Tracy, you're losing tonight. John, you bring the cat with you. <laughs> Sue and Steve from Bedford. We're from Bedford as well. Oh. That's on YouTube, on your YouTube oh, channel. Oh, you never know. Sue and Steve. Do you there know might them? be a Bedford question in there tonight. As soon as I said something, he, Andy got the question right. So I know you know that one, Andy. You can't trick Alfie on that one. <laughs> um, so no one's chatting in my thing because my YouTube channel is not really related to quizzing. No one's in my thing, so I'm very, very sad. Nobody's no followed me. Oh, no. Kirsty, yeah. John and Jake. If you do I'm hit... So, if you Sorry. What? Sorry. I said if you do hit subscribe tonight on any of our channels, so that's Nikki Runs UK or Caravam, as in Caravan and Family, <laughs> you're, um, <laughs> you will get a little... The computer will shout you out automatically... Um, over whoever gets subscribed to, they'll have a little sort of a zombie man running along like that <laughs> over either me or over Nikki. So whoever's channel you subscribe to, your name will come up, your YouTube name will come up on the screen. We've also got tweets. Oh my God, we're so advanced this week, haven't we? Uh, you can tell that there's nothing else to do. We've also got, um, if you tweet my Cara fam, my Cara fam, Oh, I don't know about that name. It's a tongue twister, isn't it? C A R A F A M. My caravan fam. If you tweet that and your tweet's interesting, we can pop it up on the screen. Like this. Obviously, there's nothing to say there. But if you do tweet something interesting, we can put you up on the screen. So, any, we're welcome any questions. I've just put my message feed up. Oh, bloody blooming hell, even. Someone has just subscribed to Nikki. That's Jack Elder has just subscribed to Nikki. Don't forget to subscribe to Carafam. Don't be so selfish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got Dean and Sarah in Birmingham. Hi, Dean and Sarah. 
Oh, we said Sue and Steve in Bedford, didn't we? Yeah, Nikki and Brian, yeah. Julia's next door neighbours. <coughs> Sophie and Chris. Hi, Sophie and Chris from Julie and Gary, your next door neighbours. Hi from Sarah and Anna in Staffordshire. And hey, John, Amy, Steve. Whoop, we're quiz ready. Everyone is quiz ready. Where's the refresh button on Twitter? No one's tweeted me yet. I'm sure somebody will get on Twitter and tweet you. Oh, yeah. Alfie, Alfie, tweet him. Alfie, Alfie. account, tweet him. Tweet him and just let, <laughs> let everyone know that I'm going to beat you. <laughs> oh, I've got my sweaty neck. It's because I've got a really big fleecy fleece onesie on because I've been in the caravan tonight. Why don't you put the air conditioning on? Well, I've got the heater on. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I was saying that I was going to put the fire on in here, weren't I? We, I dragged her out to uh, Wait, Home oh. Bargains or whatever that shop's called a few days ago. I said, oh, we need some wood. Um, <coughs> turns out it's quite warm in the log cabin tonight. Look, Nick is in County Durham. Nick in County Durham. I worked there once at the university. We sprayed, the when I was a paint sprayer, I don't know why I had to do that. We sprayed some of the panels there. Okay, we've got Sophie's Gary's daughter and John can't wait and Rachel from Staffordshire. Right, let's get the quiz going. So you're what, 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 what? I need just to go and get some beer. Keep everyone be keep company. Don't start. Hurry up. I'm gonna we'll go to I'm gonna go to the, the fridge. Seven. Hurry up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Nicola Jane, we're gonna be straight on there. Just waiting for him. We should got it ready. Look, it's because I'm not there dagging him. <coughs> He's back. He's coming back. Two beers. What was that you said? I can have as many beers as I want. <laughs> well, that's yeah, that's really nice of you. But you've got to look up. Thank you very much. Yeah, but you've got to look up. As many beers as I want, I'm not there. She said. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so okay, okay, dear, I can hear you now. <laughs> yeah, it's not. He's not fast long when he goes to go and get a beer. <coughs> okay, so connections. Right. Connections. Your number one questions for all your connections. Are you ready? So I'm going to give you ten questions. So all the answers to these questions will be have a connection in some way. So you can get ten points for the questions, the answers, and then you can get a bonus point for. <coughs> the answer for the link number one <coughs> you should have had this in case i can't do it had what all the questions what about if i can't carry on reading it right. anyway i don't in, i don't know them you carry in on. treasure island who did blind pew give the black spot to in treasure island who did blind pew give the black spot to Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> no Hopefully, when Monday comes, we should have the results, and I'll be a uh, um allowed back in the house. What? Yeah, I'll be allowed back in the oh, house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, number one in Treasure Highland, who did Blind Pew give the black spot to? Question two: What are horses measured in? What do you measure horse horses in? Thought I nearly give the answer right then. What are horses measured in? So don't forget, all these answers are going to have a connection. So it doesn't matter if you don't get them all. And you need to try and probably get at least two or three, or you're not going to get the connection. Do you want to take it in terms on the, on uh, each one, so you rest your? Yeah. Place? Have you got all the questions yeah. now? Yeah, I've got the questions in front of me now. So Alfie, you're lucky. I can't play along. <laughs> well, I can. I could play along, couldn't I? But no, I'm not going to. Right, number three, three. <laughs> Uh, what was advertised with the slogan, loves the jobs you hate? What was advertised with the slogan, loves the jobs you hate? That's better. I can have a breather now. Do we to do a few more? Go on then. Uh, number four, oh. on set. <laughs> what was that? Nick's just said he's got the connection already. Okay. Already. <laughs> uh, number four. 
on sale in the 20th century, what were Zoobs? <laughs> on sale in the 20th century. Do they not sell them anymore? No. Okay, on sale in the 20th century, what were Zoobs? Uh, that was, a, that was, was that one of last week's? Did I do the sweets last week or the week before? I can't remember now. Remember that was in, that was in one of the sweet that was in one of the <coughs> the sweet questions. <coughs> Guess the sweets. Mm. <coughs> okay, next one. In England, we call it bride's bottom drawer. What do the Americans <coughs> call it? In England, we call it a bride's bottom drawer. <laughs> what do the Americans call it? <laughs> I got no, literally no idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> All right, number six. In Greek mythology, who was the goddess of the rainbow and messenger of the gods? In Greek mythology, who was the goddess of the rainbow and messenger of the gods? I think we need some music in the background like you did last week, but I don't think Yeah, but you got lots of copyright strikes. Oh, did you? No, I didn't. You did. Oh, I didn't know. You, you'll get the copyright strikes because you don't subscribe to the music service, whereas I subscribe oh, to the music service. Okay. And I can't put your. I could probably put. I could probably put your Facebook channel, <laughs> get it clearance, but you can't get two YouTube channel clearances. Oh. Anyway, I'll probably just get that <laughs> off. Okay. Off of this. <laughs> number seven. Uh, Go on then, you see number oh. seven. <laughs> All right, number seven. So let me just get this clear. You get one point per question correct and then one point for the... Connection. Connection. So it's 11 points in total yeah. for this round. Yeah. yeah. God, excuse me. <laughs> number seven, which piece of kit was made compulsory to wear by FIFA in 1990? Which piece of kit was made compulsory... <laughs> Where by FIFA in 1990. <coughs> <coughs> Number eight. Under what name was Charles Stratton exhibited by Felis Barnum? Under what name was Charles Stratton exhibited by Felis Barnum? I think it's Phileas, my dear. Phileas Barnum. <laughs> Phileas Barnum. <laughs> Exhibited by Phileas Barnum. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 <laughs> uh, number nine in the 1975 film oh sorry 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 sorry, sorry. in which what are you doing in, my hands. Your hands. in which 19 i better clean mine actually yeah <laughs> probably just as good because a bit of alcohol i'm going out tonight <laughs> i know the sort of woman i like <laughs> right in which 1975 film did Richard Dreyfus play a marine biologist called Matt Hucker? <laughs> in which 1975 film did Richard Dreyfus play a marine biologist called Matt Hopper? You don't know. Would you know the answer to that if you hadn't, didn't have the answers in front? Hey, me? Of you? Yeah, you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> and number ten. What was the first Rambo film called? What was the first Rambo film called? Oh, I'd know that one. I'd know that one. That's quite an easy one. I thought it was, like, I thought it was just like Rambo. But of course it had a, a, another name to it as well. <laughs> right. So. How did we do? Quick run through the... You run through the questions just quick from one to ten. Okay, what song have you throat? Oh, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> right, number one, number one. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Number one, in Treasure Island, who did Blind Pew give the black spot to? Number two, what are horses measured in? Number three, what is advertised with the slogan, loves the jobs you hate? 
Number four, on sale in the 20th century. What were zoobs, Alfie? What were zoobs? Uh, number five, in England, we call it bride's bottom drawer. What do the Americans call it? Number six, in Greek mythology, who was the goddess of the rainbow and messenger of the gods? Number seven, what piece of kit was made compulsory wear by FIFA in 1990? Number eight, what was the name? Blah, 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 blah. Under what name was Charles Stratton exhibited by Phileas Barnum? Um, sorry, John typed something and it made me look away. In 1975, which film did Richard Dreyfuss play a marine biologist called Matt Hopper? And number 10, what was the very first Rambo movie called? Is a clue. It's the opposite to his latest movie. Yeah, it'd be the opposite to the latest movie. Okay. Nicola. Okay. You'd gone all quiet and still then. I was just oh, really yeah. saying your name just to check you were still alive. <laughs> okay, so the answer is <laughs> number one, <laughs> Billy Bones. Number two. Oh, should I have asked? Should I have got the connection first in case people didn't get the answers? Because no, 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 no. Because if you do the answers first, then you give an opportunity to see if anyone's still dim enough not to figure out the connection at the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> number yeah. one, Billy Bones. Number two, hands. Number three, <coughs> Mr. Muscle. Number four, throat pas pastels. Number five, I need some of that. <coughs> Hope chest. Number six, iris. Number seven, shin pad. Number eight, tom thumb. Number nine, <laughs> jaws. <laughs> and number ten, first blood. That one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alfie, do you know the connection? And everybody else, but most yeah, importantly, Alfie, you know have you figured the connection out? <laughs> anybody? Do you, like, do you like my props? It was either scissors or staple gun. <laughs> and wow. <laughs> so I just went for scissors because it's not sharp. <laughs> Yes, John, well done. It is body parts. Well done. Uh, Bryn and Co on YouTube, yep, body well parts. Done, Bryn. Well done, Pete. Oh, excuse me. Pete, did you get the connection? Body parts, body parts. Too late now because everyone said the answer. So even <laughs> if you didn't get it, you could just write body parts, couldn't you, and get away with it. But like, yeah, of course I knew what it was. You could All right, let's move this keyboard out of the way. I don't need this. <coughs> Put it somewhere where it's not going to get trodden on. <coughs> right. What, um, what's the cooking? Huh? The cooking? What's the cooking? We need a uh, middle of the round chit chat. What was number nine? Jaws. Jaws. Jaws was number nine, D. Jaws, <coughs> hmm, 7 out of 10s, 8 out of 10s, we're getting 8 or 9 out of 10s. When she first, when she she um, tested these on me earlier on, I was like, no idea. I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. Threw me a bit, didn't know these questions. I was expecting sort of general knowledge. Yeah. I like general knowledge, chaser style questions. But these, um, these are a little different <coughs> from what I'm used to. <coughs> How's the throat? <coughs> it's okay. <coughs> just somebody from my work just asking, do they need to go and get a test or do they just wait for my results? Kirsty, you might know that. I think it's Kirsty. Katie e. Scott, I think you are Kirsty. Um, should anybody who I worked with on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday go and get a test or wait for my test to come back or see if they've got any symptoms? Aren't you supposed to just as soon as you know someone's got symptoms and you're supposed to back off and, and isolate yourself as well, aren't you? I don't know because um, I was in work on Monday, but my symptoms didn't come till Thursday. So. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I'd probably, if it was me, I'd probably but we had, be very careful. Yeah, we had lots of staff who went, though. The end of, before the lockdown, we had... Uh, we had lots of staff go off who had symptoms, but none of us 
self-isolated who we're working with. Mm. So I don't know. It's only till Monday or Tuesday anyway till my results come back. Oh, I've got to say hello to Simon, my cousin. My cousin Simon's watching tonight. I'm not sure if he's playing as well or whether he's just watching us, but hello, Simon. Hello, Simon. <laughs> hello, Mum, da- uh, Mum, Connor, David, and I don't think Keegan's watching tonight. Okay, what? well done, everybody. Shall we? Judas. Get on to the next one. Let's do your next connections. Again, this is seven questions this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kirsty, they should, they should isolate and test if they have symptoms. Okay, none of them's got symptoms, and I was with them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm. Um, okay, so connections number two seven questions, seven points, and bonus point for the connection. <laughs> <coughs> what is the opposite of Sto- Stockholm syndrome? What is the opposite of Stockholm Syndrome? Opposite of Stockholm Syndrome. Opposite of Stockholm. What is Stockholm Syndrome? I have no idea. That's not the one where you fall in love with your captor, is it? Captor? Captor, like if you're kidnapped. If you're kidnapped, sometimes people who are kidnapped for many, many years um, form a bond with the person who's kidnapped. Oh, right. I don't know. Is that Stockholm Syndrome, or am I thinking of something totally different? I have no idea. No bonus questions if you know the answer, but feel free to type it. <laughs> or tweet it. Captive. That's what I said. Captive. Oh, well. Yeah, tweet me the answer. My caravan. He's really, fan, wanting, my a, caravan. really wanting a tweet tonight. <coughs> I really want a tweet, man. <laughs> Give me a tweet. Let's see if there's any tweets on me. Any tweets? Any tweets? Nothing. <coughs> Nothing. <coughs> Right, question two. What was Peter Law's character called in the Maltese Falcon? I've never seen that. What was... Yeah, that. I'm going to just write... um... Oh, somebody sent a tweet through. What? Somebody sent a tweet. I'll, I'll be there in a sec. <coughs> Number three. What is the name given to envelopes originally made from transporting documents that were usually a buff or pale brown colour? What is the name given to envelopes originally made for transporting documents that were usually a buff or pale brown colour? <coughs> There you go. I put it on screen. You can't see that, Nikki, but I'll put it on screen. And I'm guessing if Harrison and Finn weren't on earlier, I better say hi, Finn. Hi, Harrison. Good luck tonight with Laura and Kate. <laughs> Just in case you're not there. You weren't there earlier when I said it. <sighs> Number four. What is the name of the dish in which a chicken breast is stuffed with butter, herbs and garlic? What is the name of the dish in which a chicken breast is stuffed with butter, herbs and garlic <laughs> I f- when i first ever had one of these my mum cooked me one when we were young i don't know where she got it from maybe out of a bin or something but it was disgusting <laughs> i've never eaten them since oh never, no, no. ever I know eaten them since. oh well done nick you didn't put the anagram words on the screen so how are they going to know the anagram words We'll have to miss that. We'll replace that round with a Trivia Pursuit round. Oh, I'm good, because I did worked hard on those. Yeah, but we could use it next week. It's okay. <laughs> I can read the words out, because they are actual words. Can't see anything on the twi- Twitter sphere yet. <coughs> maybe, maybe I'm doing it wrong. All right, what did you get up to? Um, number four. So you do number five. You said these guys that say they're tweeted. Did they use the what's on my name? I don't know. Why don't you there? ask them? I am asking them. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> if you look at the name on the screen, my Cara fam, it's that. Okay. What did you get up to? Five. Yeah. Which Italian actress was crowned Miss Elegance in nineteen fifty? 
which Italian actress was crowned Miss Elegance in 1950? I'm thinking I can only um, update Twitter every so often and because I've kept hitting refresh, 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 they probably said this guy's spamming. He's still alive? Yeah, it's all right. It's just somebody from work just messaged me. <coughs> okay. Come on then. You, can, the you do it because I'm just messaging them because I'm a bit worried now about me. <laughs> all right. Right. Uh, let's put you on to me all me for a little while then while she does that. What was the name of the racehorse that had it... What was the name of the racehorse that had its head cut off in the film Caf... Cart from? K-H-A-R-T-O-U-M. Never heard of it. Cartron. Cartron? I hope that's right. What was the name of the race call of the race horse that had its head cut off in the film Cartron? That's question six. You alright, Nick? Are you back with us? <laughs> okay, dokie. <coughs> I don't think this uh, Twitter thing's working very well. Never mind. Right, Nick, you can do the next one. Okay. What number did you do? Five? Did you do six? Uh, we did, f yeah, done six. Okay, the so final one seven. then is, what was the name of Lord Nelson's mistress who bore him a child? What was the name of Lord Nelson's mistress who bore him a child? <coughs> What was the name of Lord Nelson's mistress who bore him a child? I've gone on a digital <laughs> detox, so I bought myself this flippy phone. He has a... <laughs> like this, because I don't want to... I've got a bit fed up with always looking at my phone and scrolling through. Otherwise, you end up like Nikki, who just doesn't even look at the camera. Look up. I was on my bike earlier on going to the post office and I was going down a path <coughs> and I was doing very gentle 17 miles an hour. And there was this woman walking towards me and she was staring at her phone. <coughs> and then there was these other, pe was other people walking along the housing estate road who were quite within earshot of me. And I was going, look up, 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 like this. And the people were looking at me, because they could hear me coming, smiling with a little snigger. And the girl, the woman, just she was obviously she just finished running and she was looking at her phone. She didn't look up until I got to about two metres in front of her. <laughs> and then she jumped out of her skin and I just shook my head and carried on my way. <laughs> you need to look up, people. Don't walk along the street yeah. staring at your phone. This is crazy. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've just had 1955, so I've had a load of um, load of tweets updated, and there's nothing there. Oh. Yeah, it's got to be at my caravan, not van, fam. <laughs> Sophie Cook, they're drinking for every answer they get wrong. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so they're going to be quite drunk tonight. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go through all the questions again, um, and you can uh, check you've got everything. And is Nikki going to get off of her phone? Well, I can't help it if people are getting worried now and that they've known that I've, they, they might have to get tested. Turn your phone no. off. No! <coughs> Turn your phone <laughs> off for one hour. Okay, question one. What was the opposite of Stockholm Syndrome? Question two. 
What was Peter Law's character in the Maltese Falcon? <coughs> Question three. What is the name given to envelopes originally made for transporting documents that were usually in a buff or pale brown colour? Did you write these questions? I got them off, did you I got them off the them? internet. You stole them. <laughs> they just say free quiz. Plagiarism. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind a plagiarised quiz. Uh, question four. What is the name of the dish in which a chicken breast is stuffed with butter, garlics and herbs and tastes like it's been found in a bin? Question five. Which Italian actress was crowned Miss Elegance in 1950? I don't think they had m and quality back then. Maybe we should try them again, m style. m style. <laughs> m &S ones. Instead oh, of do you know what I bought yesterday? No. Percy. Let me do this. I've got two Percy more. Percy Pig Ice Cream. Six. What is the name of the racehorse that had its head cut off for the film? Oh, sh shoot. What? What? <laughs> I said the answer for that. <laughs> number six doesn't matter. No one's getting points for number six. Okay. <laughs> I've realised now what I've done. What is the name of the race course that had its head cut off in the film? The race course. Or the race horse. <laughs> race horse. I mean, what was the name? The question doesn't make sense. Read the question. Have you got the questions in yeah. front of you? Read the question. What was the name of the race horse that had its head cut off in the film? In what film? Oh, yeah. <laughs> in a film. <laughs> in a film. Okay, you get a point if you if you know the film. I've already said the answer. You can have a bonus film, bonus film, <laughs> bonus point. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Shh. You can have a bonus point <laughs> if you get the film. Pete, we need the film. Right, number seven. <laughs> what was the name of Lord Nelson's mistress who bore him a child? <laughs> This is why I do Trivial Pursuit. They pay people, right, to check these questions. People are on good money to check questions. It's so much easier. <laughs> right. Is everyone clear? Did we, did we ruin everything? You're not supposed to say the answer in the chat. <laughs> oh, the film okay. was Godfather, was it? Right, the answer is... First one, Lima syn syndrome is the opposite of Stockholm syndrome. Joel Cairo is number two. Manila envelopes is number three. Chicken Kiev is number four. <coughs> number five was Sophia Loren. Number six was Khartoum. And number seven was Lady Emma Hamilton. So what was the connections to all of those? <coughs> What was the connection? Whilst you do that, I'll read them all again. Uh, number one was Lima Syndrome. Number two, Joel Cairo. Number three, Manila Envelopes. Number four, Chicken Kiev. Number five, Sophia Laurent. Number six, Carter Room. Number seven, Lady Emma Hamilton. She's disappeared. I'm putting the kettle on. She's putting the kettle on. <coughs> right. Does anybody... Has anyone figured out what the capital... <laughs> You're not doing a quiz with me again. <laughs> oh my lord! <coughs> oh, Has country. Anyone figured out? Oh, the uh, cities, but all oh, capital cities. You got the cities. correct one. It's capital cities, not just cities. They're capitals. Well done, Pete and Wayne. <laughs> It's not countries, oh, it's capital cities. So it's not cities. <coughs> I don't think I think I've... Should, should he <coughs> shouldn't I think... your sidekick, Mr. Budweiser. <coughs> I think I figured out what. Um... Oh, well done, Edward. Is it the easiest one? Right. <laughs> They're all telling you to lay off the beer, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so well, the, the whole Twitter thing. But you got the connections, the... Wayne. So that's bonus. That's the main one. Was the connections. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Twitter thing. I figured out what's up with it. It's it's just reading on my feed. It's not reading my reply. Um, 
my mentions. So, pff, I don't know. Well done, Pete. <laughs> Settings. Oh, here we go. Use the timeline. There you He's go. only had two Is... buds. Two buds. Should we try that now? Well, that's what I think he's only had two buds, but who knows? <laughs> yeah, I got a <coughs> straw underneath. <laughs> right, I've um, I'm working this out now. User timelines, favourites, or search. <coughs> Wayne says, "Drink more because he needs more answers." <coughs> <laughs> right, Nick. What do you want to do now? Anna Louise, what, what it's shocking in that round, even with the help from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want me to do the who am I? Yeah, that obviously, this Twitter thing doesn't work. Well, forget the Twitter thing, just forget that now. Right. Round three. What do you, what do you want to do? We can't do anagrams, can we? Oh, we've got two rounds of anagrams as well. Mm. Do you want me to do the flags round? I'll do who am I. A... Let me do the who am Go I. So do flags after because you've got that all set up for you to do that one. Okay, who am I? We've got <coughs> 10 who am I's. Number one, are you ready? I was born in Ulm in Germany in 1876. In 1895, I moved to Switzerland to study. And in 1921, I won the Nobel Prize for Physics. I emigrated to the USA in 1933. Who am I? <laughs> who am I? Okay, number two. You do number two. My throat's going. <laughs> uh, number two. <laughs> Who am I? I was born in Honolulu, Hawaii in 1961. I am a graduate of Columbia University and Harvard Law School. I ran for the United States Senate in 2004. Oh, that should Who have given you the biggest clue. Yeah. Lots of people run for the Senate, though. Oh, OK. <laughs> Number three. I was born in Liverpool in 1940 and died in 1980. My first band was called The Quarrymen. In 2002, a BBC poll of the 100 Greatest Britons ranked me eighth. I was born in Liverpool in 1940 and died in 1980. My first band was called <coughs> The Quarrymen. In 2002, a BBC poll of the 100 Greatest Britons ranked me eighth. Who am I? <coughs> you right, dear? Yeah. <coughs> Go on then, number four. Me. Number four. I was born in South West London in 1976. And I am known for my career in stand-up comedy. I released my autobiography, Life and Laughing, My Story, in 2010. Who am I? Oh, look, he's saying don't, don't go on the phone. Yeah, well, I'm trying to figure out why this Twitter feed don't work. I am resting, Kirsty. It's just... I'm still laying my caravan just sitting here, so I am resting with lots of cups of coffee <laughs> and cups of tea. Okay, everyone who sent a tweet, you are sending it to the right place. It's just the software's not... It's picking up my timeline, It's and I, and I can pick up my activity, favourites, and search, but I can't pick up me for some bizarre reason. I wonder if I can just search my own name. Probably. Um, yes, of course I can repeat. It was. <laughs> I was born in South West London in 1976. I'm known for my career in stand-up comedy. I released my autobiography, Life and Laughing, My Story, in 2010. It's a really good uh, autobiography, actually. I've read that. Well, I listened to it on audio when I used to bike to work. In Mil we went <laughs> to see this gentleman we did. live, didn't in we? In stables. <laughs> we did. 
Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. <laughs> okay, number five. <clears throat> I was born in Michigan in 1863. I was an American industrialist and I sponsored the development of the system of mass production and assembly line manufacturer. As owner of my own company, I named after myself. Right, let's do, um, I'll take over and do a few. Yeah. yeah. So I'll read that one again. I was born in Michigan in 1863. I was an American industrialist and I sponsored development on the system of mass production and assembly line manufacturer. As owner of my own company, uh, it's, it, I named it after myself. Who am I? Well, I'm not going to say the answers. And I got Twitter working, by the way. So BTCC underscore crazy says, <laughs> loving the quiz tonight My at my caravan fam, which is really nice. Who is... Um, who is that? What we got? We got Jackie says, Hey, my caravan, best of luck to all enjoying the quiz. Special thanks to my mum for arranging this. Oh, she must be, must be new. Yeah, Nick? Um, it must be me. Must be new, a new person. Yeah, sounds like it. I don't know. Uh, Alfie says you are going down, Andy. Sadly, <laughs> she's made me get the. Sadly, she's made me get the questions out. So oh, yeah, um, it's come up now. Oh, that's good. So yeah, but what you'll see, you'll see in a live. You're watching YouTube, aren't you? So you're going to be delayed. Yeah, I'm not uh, watching. I've just by... seen it on my screen to see how many were playing on YouTube. Oh, that's very oh, clever. I keep, I keep getting a little <laughs> like that every now and again. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, what have we got here? Got break. Yeah, let's have a. You can have a break after these. We've only got a few left. Uh, four, five left to go. This one is all for the Bedfordians. Go on then, Andy. <laughs> okay, Bedfordian. As a Bedfordian myself, born and bred in the great town of, born and bred in Bedford. Um, I was born in Bedford in nine. Not me personally. <laughs> I was born in Bedford in nineteen twenty nine. Um. I was a famous British actor, writer, critic and broadcaster, but I'm best known for my comedy and my love of words, as well as writing and starring in a number of sitcoms. I was part of a double act sketch show from 1971 until 1986. Well, technically, he was part of it much longer than 1986, so I would use 1986 very lightly, but... Um, yeah, there you go. There's the question. Born in Bedford, 1929. Famous actor, critic, broadcaster, comedy, double act. Um, great guy, actually. All round good guy, I thought. Yeah. Boo! <laughs> do you want to do the next one? Because it's very short. It's like a one. It's a one liner. <laughs> I was the first US president to have served in the US Navy. Who am I? Loving Life 57 is Kirsty. I'm sure it's, it is Kirsty, isn't it? K.E. Scott. I'm sure that's Kirsty. Kirsty Scott. How's Kira doing, Rachel? Have I got the name right again? Oh, look at my hair. I've got to get something done with my hair. My friend dyed her hair pink and red today. Pink and purple and ready. It looks amazing. I really liked it. Okay, do number eight then. Okay, I did Grand Illusions and Daring Spectacular Escape Artists. It made me one of the most famous magicians of all time. I was born... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> you're being silly. <laughs> I'm not being oh, silly at all. Nicola Jane wants the last yeah. one. The one at which... All right, we'll do the last one. Number seven. <laughs> I was the first US president to have served in the US Navy. Who am I? It's literally, that is it. <laughs> she didn't plagiarise that one, did you? something onto that one then, Andy. Go on, do you know anything about that person? I was the first US president to have served in the US Navy and I was the last US president to be assassinated. <laughs> I've probably given it now. Was he the only one to be fascinated? Yeah, you've, got, you've got to have a good... Um, I've worked out how to rotate these 
tweets, by the way, automatically. Was he the yeah. only one to be assassinated? No, he wasn't the only oh. one to be assassinated, okay. no, because I think Abraham Lincoln was assassinated, wasn't he? In a the theatre. Was he assassinated in a the theatre? I don't know. He was. Okay. I, think, I think he had a. I think he had a private booth, and to speak, saying booth, I think the guy's name was Boothby or Boothroy. Right, or read number eight. Okay, like so Jane. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, number eight. She's moving me on. She's moving me on from Gemini. Just do it in case Nicola Jane missed it because she missed number seven. <clears throat> Okay, Nicola Jane, this is just for you. I did Grand Illusions and Daring Spectacular Escape Acts. It made me one of the most famous magicians <laughs> of all time. And it's not Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, most famous magicians of all time. I was born Eric Wise. It's not. It's like, when you said this to me, I thought it was Ernie Wise. <laughs> I was born Eric Wise on March the 24th, 1874, and I started my magic in 1894. I married Willa... 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 Wow. Willa Helmina. Bitch. That's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what your tongue tried to say. Be Beatrice Ranner, who was my lifelong... Oh, my computer's turned off. <gasps> who was my lifelong stage <laughs> assistant. Boom. <laughs> There you go. That was question eight. Is everybody happy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> How are you doing, Alfie? Have you got that one? Alfie, you'll get number ten, definitely. Number nine. Oh, you might get this one, Alfie. <laughs> yeah, right. I was... Number nine. I was born in the German city of Frankfurt. What does that say? I was born in the German city of Frankfurt. And Maine in 1929. That's the, I don't know, that's the city, part of the city of Frankfurt. <laughs> Who have you plagiarised this from? Know. Because I need to complain to them. I went into hiding in 1942 with my family. I was given a diary on my 13th birthday. I had a sister, Margot, and I died in 1945. Or oh, you may have beaten Alfie tonight. Yeah, but Alfie, I think you'll get this one and you'll get number 10, Alfie. <laughs> Yeah. Number nine again. I was born in Germany, city of Frankfurt, 1929. I went into hiding in 1942 with my family. <coughs> I was given a diary on my 13th birthday. I had a sister, Margot, and I died in 1945. <coughs> Go on then, do the last one, Andy. I know you really want to. All right. Do I have to do an impression? Don't know. Can you do it? Number ten. I think Alfie's going to get this one. I'll have to t I'll take my headphones off so people can see my hair as well. <laughs> yeah. Go on then. I have wispy hair. I became a father this week, and I have a lot on my shoulders at the moment. Nikki wrote this question. I said, "Very, very uh, important." Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had a baby this week and I, 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 I. <laughs> Jolly good show. <laughs> Bloody hell fire. Right, number two. Oh, no, that's Captain Tom number Moore, that was. That Andy, read, that's what read, he used to talk like. Andy, shut up. What? Shut up. All right, all right, all right. Read right, through right. them quick one more time. Go. She, she writes the longest round <laughs> and then she wants me to read through them quick. Yeah. <laughs> When she wrote this round early on and she tested it on me, I was like, those questions are really long. So here we go. Ready? <laughs> I was born in Ulm in Germany in 1876. In 1895, I moved to Switzerland to study. And in 1921, I worked the Nobel Prize for six. I emigrated to the USA in 1933. Who am I? <gasps> I was born in Honolulu, Hawaii in 1961. I graduated from Columbia University and Harvard Law School and I ran for United States Senate in 2004. That was question two. Question three. <coughs> I was born in Liverpool in 1940, died in 1980. My first band was called The Quarrymen in 2002. BBC poll of the 100 Greatest Britons ranked me at number eight. <laughs> Four, I was born in South West London, 1976. I'm known for my career in Salem. I'm a comedy. I released my little bit life and laughed in my story in 2010. Number five, I was born in Michigan. I probably could just say the answers, couldn't I? 
I was born in Michigan in 1863. Da, 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 da. I had my own company. I made cars. That wasn't in the question, that was but not I did that bit. Question. I know. <laughs> Number six. I was born in Bedford in 1929. I was a famous British actor, writing cricket, da, 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 comedy, loved it. I was in a double act. <laughs> Number seven, I was the first US president to have served in the US. Na a US. A I was the first US president. When I do filming on YouTube, I have to cut loads of stuff out because this happens. And you talk too fast. I was the first US president to have served in the US Navy, and then we added I was the last president to be assassinated. Um, eight, I did Grand Illusions, daring and spectacular fan movements. It made me one of the famous magicians of all time pencil waving harry potter alfie harry potter <laughs> number nine i was born in the german city of frankfurt i went into hiding i was given a diary on my 30th birthday i had a sister margot 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 i died in 1945 and number 10 i had wispy hair i'm a bit crazy i became a dad this week i'm a little bit crazy i have a lot on my shoulders at the moment god i'm out of breath <laughs> I'll do the answers. <laughs> yeah, you do the answers. Number one. <laughs> Boris is going to name the baby Andy. <laughs> Number one, Albert Einstein. Number two, Barack Obama. Number three, John Lennon. Four, Michael McIntyre. Five, Henry Ford. Six, Ronnie Barker. Seven, JFK. <coughs> Eight, Harry Houdini. There's my bottle of water. And Frank and ten Boris Johnson. How do you all do? <sighs> Turn my phone off. <coughs> ah, yeah. There we go. That's just water. Well done, everybody. Look at that. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Well done. How's YouTube doing? Simon Kin says that's a good impression of Prince Charles. Yeah. <laughs> ten, ten. Edward ten, Snoop got nine. Eight, well done, everybody. Jackie still nine, nine. Uh, Linda, seven. Claire Mason, nine. Pete Smith, nine. Adrian, oh, well nine. Sam beating John. Eight. <laughs> what did Alfie get? Did he get Harry Potter? Oh, that's what we like to do. Make you think. Get your right. <laughs> okay. I thought that was um, very long, that one. Ah, but they, they liked it, so shut up. This is my quiz, don't forget. Not yours. <laughs> yeah. Are we do What are we doing then? Are we having a... Yeah, do you want a break now? Ten minute break. We'll be back at half past eight. Well, hang on, hang on. Whoa. Um... Hooray, Susan, 10. Yeah, drink break, Claire. Uh, we'll be back going on at half past eight. Okay, okay. I want to show you this first. This is beginning innings. Yeah? Oh, Joanne. You remember this? Answers. <laughs> Joanne. Yeah, you haven't done the answers, have you? Yeah, Joanne. Albert Einstein. Barack Obama. John Lennon. Michael McIntyre. <coughs> Henry Ford. Ronnie Barker. JFK, Harry Houdini, Anne Frank, and Boris Johnson. <coughs> okay, all yours now, Andy. I don't even remember you doing the answers the first time. Right? Oh, I did, because everyone's saying they got nine and tens and sevens. I, I, I do not know where you I literally were. cannot remember you saying that. I, was, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Space time continuum. <laughs> I know, right? It's weird. Um... You're welcome, Joanne. Right, he's going to show you a video, but if you want to go and grab a drink, go for it. We'll be back at 20.30. Oh, the video's not working. Oh. Oh. So, last week we were talking about this beginning in... <coughs> oh, it's not showing up there, so we're not going to do that. So, we're, yeah, okay, we're having a little break. I don't know why that's not working, but we need it to work for. I need it to work for the next round, which will be flags. Yeah. Yeah.
There we go. <coughs> it's popped up on the screen. All right, I'm going to run this video just to test that um, we're good. Can you see it? You can't see it, can you, Nick? Yeah, I've got I've got my YouTube and Facebook on. <laughs> okay, but you're not going to see this guy. Um... Anyway, this is what we were talking. This is only about 40 seconds long. It's just so I can test it's going to work. Oh, what a stupid thing. It just quick moaned. Genesis 1, verse 1. In the beginning, in the, in the beginning, in the beginning. Yeah, in the, in, in, the, in, in the beginning. Yeah, in, in, in the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. Oh, it's in, in the beginnings. It's finished. Genesis 1, verse 1. In the beginning. In the. In the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah. In beginning. the. In, in, beginning. In uh, the. In the in in the beginning, yeah. In in in, in, in the beginning, in, in the, the beginning, beginning. In, 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 in the be in, in the beginning. That's fake. It's got to be fake. What do you think, Nick? Are you there? I yeah, am there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am here. Is your phone off? Oh, you muted us. My phone is off, yes. Oh, I just sent you a text. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's go and have a drink and then... I am there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am here. Is your phone off? <laughs> mute, mute your computer. I have, computer, I have. Alright, let's go and get a drink. We'll be back in a few moments. Uh, I need to not do that one.
Play the love. <laughs> we are back. We are back. We are back. Hello, we everybody. Are back. Um, we are refreshed. Is everybody refreshed? <laughs> I hope we're all refreshed. Yeah. The next round, we'll wait till enough people have yelled, yeah, we're back, and then we'll crack on. So the next round is going to be... <laughs> In in the beginning, in in in, 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 in that. No, I'm joking. Uh, it's going to be this one. So the next round will be flags. The next round is going to be flags. And yes, I know that you guys can see the green behind me. It doesn't matter. That's what she was ringing. No. You, are, you can't you're... see the green behind you now. Oh, you can now. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just see the green. Ron, happy birthday for next Wednesday. Your 40th. Happy birthday, Ron, from Percy for next week. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Hello, Ian Donaldson on YouTube. Hello, Ian. YouTube. <laughs> right. So, this round is titled The Flag Round, and you're going to see uh, 10 flags of the world, and it is your mission to write down the correct answers. This is for David, because David kept saying, do some flags, do some flags, do some flags. <laughs> so, David, I've done you some flags. Okay, get to flag ten. round for David, then, yeah. <laughs> so... The first flag of the evening. Are we all back? Andy's here. Let's go. They find you here. <laughs> Let's see. Right, Andy's here. John and Alf is back in Keris. And Kira. Mm -hmm. Kirsty's back. Mm -hmm. Said happy birthday to John. Yeah, she must be back. Nick said. Yeah, Claire. Nancy. Claire was the one that wanted to break. So Claire, are you back? Yeah, just back, yeah, back, back, back. Everyone looks like they're back. Very, very good. Right, how good is your geography world? Um, it's not geography, really, is it? It's more world. The steels are back. Well done. Hmm? The steels are back, Jackie said. Steels are back in town. Steels are back in town. Right. Let me just line the chat up so I can see it because it's all got messed up. Oh, sugar cubes. Okay, first flag of the evening. <laughs> Write it down. It is this one. It's not straight. I was hoping it would be a bit straighter than that. There we go. Put that in the middle. It's got to be straight. There, there, there. there. Okay, that's your first flag, ladies and gentlemen. Um, are you any good at flags, Nick? Did you have any trouble guessing these when you um, put the questions? I think I've got, I think I've got about two or three which I wasn't sure on, but the other ones I was, I was all right on. I think I would have got about seven. Yeah. Out of ten, something. It's like when that. you do all the South seven African flags, and then you have to know the countries of the South African flags which is really, really, really hard because they have loads and loads of flags just for South Africa. <laughs> yeah. Is that nearly full? What? The camera. You've gone really close to it now. I know. I'm just adjusting the zoom. Because when I sit back and I get really tiny, it's getting a bit chilly in here now. Anyway, I won't put the fire on. So, <laughs> now I've gone too big. Still too big. <laughs> no, that's in, isn't it? That's out. There you go, 35. Right. Fla that was flag one, ladies and gentlemen. Flag two. Now, these were originally, they were named with the country names. I had to change the file name of every single one from the flag name to just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a good job I noticed that, but that's, 
I could see us uh, messing up. <laughs> exactly, I could see us messing up and and doing that. Uh, who's that? Michael, Rachel. Sorry, it was hidden over the first bit. Not very, you're rubbish at geography. I don't. It's not think, so much geography, is it? Yeah, I think you'd probably be fine. You don't necessarily have to know your geography to get this one. Um, <laughs> but one thing that would help to get this is country's flags. <laughs> Um, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> if you yeah you need to, if you know country's flags, you'll probably be quite successful on this quiz. Um, oh dear me! So number that was number two. So what what more can you say? There's nothing to repeat. <laughs> number three. <laughs> what is this flag? <sighs> what are you doing? The wrong arm, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's that one. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know. Am I doing it no, right? No, it's the wrong way. Oh, hang on, because you're delayed, don't forget. It doesn't... I'm not... My arms aren't delayed from my head. <laughs> you're delayed in my screen. I'm on still, my back. My arm's yeah, still moving the, the same... Arm. I'm not going to go... I, doesn't, I don't... It's not like... <laughs> It's not like I lift that arm up and then this arm follows 10 seconds Wait, later. And there's no delay here. There's no delay. Look. There is on my YouTube, yeah? though. There you go. I've got the right the right one now. Is it that? No, it's the other... Oh. Just wait. Oh, just pretend I'm... It could be a mirror image. It is the a mirror way. image. The my arm's way. pointing this way on the camera. No, you're on the wrong way at the moment. That's it. That's the right way. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so flag four, flag four. Here we go. I started me off now. Flag four. Oh, I'm yawning. And I didn't get up till seven thirty. Yeah, right. <laughs> At least I'm in here tomorrow. I won't know what time you get up tomorrow. <laughs> I may or may not have got up at 10 to 10. Yeah, so that was more like it. Yeah, 10 to 10. I may or may not have got up at 10 to 10. But I did go to bed late because I was watching a film. But I slept through the film, so I can't remember what the <laughs> film was. <laughs> right, question five. Uh. Uh, flag five. <coughs> it is uh, blue and white stripes. That's nice to know. <laughs> there we go. It's come up now. What has? Blue and white stripes? Yeah. I'm going to give the cats that outside. Okay. White outside. Oh, of course, because, yeah, I see what you mean now. You are delayed on YouTube. Yeah. You don't see, you can't see the flag. <laughs> so she can only see the flag when you guys see it, whereas I can see it about... I put it on and then it takes about 15 seconds to get to YouTube and then back to you guys and whatnot. Um, okay, so that was Numahole on the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Alfie, is Alfie any good at flags? It looks like it. John said he's able to help him out. Mm. Okay, Alfie. It's all on you, Alfie. This, <laughs> this one, number six. Alfie? It's Harry Potter. Harry Potter doesn't have a flag. Yes, he does. Does he? There's a snake on it. If you look out your window right now, there's a cat passing. What, well, my around. window? Yeah, but don't touch the cat. I don't want your germs Which on one? it. Don't touch it. Oh, it's my Alfie. Yeah, don't touch it, though. Baby. Hey, come back. Hello, baby. Come on, then. Leave the cat. I'm leaving Do you it. not know that cats pass this disease? Right, he got it. Well, he thinks he got it. <laughs> it wouldn't be any he good if you're colour blind, no, Nicola. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Should we check the tweets? What? Should we check the tweets? Check the tweets. You check the tweets then. I can't check the tweets. I'm checking the tweets. I can't see the tweets. Oh, look. 
We're live. Are we, no, we can't check the tweets on this screen. I haven't made one up, but we've got... Um, Bidan, next door. Next door neighbours watching. Oh, hello, Bidan. <coughs> Bidan and Jay. Right. Um, question, uh, flag seven. Here you go. Oh, I thought it crashed. So our next door neighbour now, Bidan, knows that I'm sat in my caravan, Bidan, because... I'm self-isolating. He's kicked me out. <laughs> he no longer wants me in the house. <laughs> no, she's not welcome. <coughs> so that is question seven. A flag of... I definitely need a mouse mat in here for this mouse. So I'm going to write that on the list of things I need. Mouse mat. <coughs> mouse and mat. Question seven. Question eight. I think it would be better with a little bit of music in the background. I think it would. It's very quiet. It's very, very quiet. If we can condense this down to just one YouTube channel that's licensed, boom, problem solved. I can put loads of music on. Yeah. Because I've only got licensing on the other YouTube channel, not on this YouTube channel. So, but that means either you'd have to lose yours or I'd have to lose mine. Yeah. <laughs> we know who's is going to go. I know because you got more subscribers than what I've got. <laughs> so consider um, quiet is good, Kay Scott. Quiet is good, but what I like is it, it makes it. Um, it makes <laughs> John T's around his goes. It makes it um, <laughs> like yeah. So he gets makes us more makes us right. talk more. It makes us talk more, and when you talk more. You need to think of things to say. <laughs> and when oh, you're drinking alcohol, it's... after a while, the things that you say become gibberish. Not... So if you could, also... if I could put music Shut on. What? Shut up. I said it's also quite hard when you're not in the same building. If we were yeah. in the same, if we were in together, it's different. But because we're separated, <laughs> it's different. Mm. So there's eight. There's question. There's a flag eight. So if you are on YouTube and you are on my channel and you want to go and subscribe to Andy's channel, then we can move all mine over to there. Then you need to go and subscribe to his and let us know when you subscribed. Well, you don't need to let us know. Well, it would be nice. You don't need to write a letter. Or yeah, you do anything. actually. <laughs> Okay, if you can write a letter when you subscribe, and you can actually it, oh, address oh, it to the caravan. No less, at blah, blah, no blah, less blah, than blah blah <laughs> blah blah blah. Yeah, no less than three hundred words. <laughs> Funny you should say that because I've got a friend called Dan, and his girlfriend. He goes with his girlfriend. They live in a motorhome, and they're currently in Ireland. Um, and he, someone sent him a box of stuff, and the Royal Mail guy, or whatever the Irish version of it, delivered it to his caravan and the address was um, to Dan Holdsworth in a lay-by um, along this road <laughs> on lockdown stuck in their motorhome this that and the other and the, and it got this was only this week and it got to it got there fine and now he's in the national pre like the whatever the national Irish, really? Irish <laughs> something yeah it's on the on the um Irish Times or something like that and they oh. had uh, the photographers come and then the, the actual mailman had a photo of him with the mailman and this, that and the other. I hope, so they, were some, cool. I hope they were two metres apart. Yeah, I should think they was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we can add music but we'll need to do it on a channel that has a, holds a licence to play music better than the YouTube audio library which is pretty poor. You just hear the same music over and over again. Okay, question nine. Here you go. This is the ninth flag. <coughs> ba -ba 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 what I think we could do though, Nick, is probably um, because not many people look use my um i don't really use my facebook page so i could stream it to your facebook page i yeah. know oh, because it's still not licensed i can change the licensing over so because i won't really use facebook i'm not much interest in it so you can use the facebook music on your page as you are 
yeah. but you'll just have to drop your YouTube. Anyway, we'll discuss this <laughs> off camera. But that's probably what will happen. It'll be her Facebook page, my YouTube channel. So depending on what your um, preference is, you'll have to join um, one or the other. So question 10. Make your own music. Yeah, you could make your own music. Is yeah, that a right. guitar? Let me have a few more beers and I'll make some music. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do like the guy who got the, the guy from BBC. No. 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 <laughs> the BBC um, theme tune with his with his um, drum. The drum kit that was amazing though. Wasn't yeah, it, that guy it was with very the drums. good. He was really really good. <laughs> All right, so the questions again, and I'm not going to do them as fast because my hand simply can't move that fast. But question, uh, flag one. I wonder if I can just automate this and leave it. Will it change on its own and play for 10 seconds? Seven, eight, nine, ten. No, it didn't. I've got to do it on my own. Uh, flag two. Flag three. Flag four. Flag five, flag six, thank you, John. Flag seven, flag eight, flag nine, flag ten. There you go. Ten, um, ten flags. Where did I write my answers down? There, I will move us to, oh no, I'll leave us here for now. So, answers. Flag one, that was Japan. Flag two was the Czech Republic. Flag three, I don't know why I'm looking at the paper, was Jamaica. Flag four was China. I don't know that one, how it is. Flag five was Greece. Six was South Africa. Seven was India. Eight was the Netherlands. Nine was Turkey. And ten was Australia. Boom. All done. There you have it. That's it. That's all done. We did them all. What did you think to that round? How did um, how did people do? Oh, I have a visitor. Oh, <laughs> which cat is that? Oh yeah, I haven't touched him though. He's just walked in. <laughs> well, throw water at him or something. Oh, he's a baby. <laughs> okay. He to speak um, with me. He's having a nose. He's like, oh, what's this? Here we go, Claire. Uh, oh, well done, everyone. P Pete. Got sorry, Ian. I saw. I only just saw your chat. Where do you answer, Ian? You just write your answers down on a piece of paper, and and um, and just in the chat, you can write down your score at the end. Uh, Nick got eight out of ten. Jackie eight. Pete ten. Claire nine. Case got. <laughs> Susan, well done. Nine. Rachel <laughs> six. Christine ten out of ten. Wow. Alfie eight. Uh, John 6, Sam 6, Keris playing with Lego tonight, fair dues. Wayne 5, Julie 5. Harrison with Laura got 9 out of 10 today. Well done, Harrison. Played amazingly. <laughs> Edward on YouTube got 8, Simon, Simon 10 again. 10 again. You're going out now, baby. You want to go out? Never talks to me like that. <laughs> You're not fucking friendly. <laughs> <laughs> dear, dear. Right. So, do you want to do trivia too? <laughs> yeah. I'm talking to you. Me. You, Nicola. Oh, I'm not bothered. Trivia pursuit. Oh, celebrity Ten edition or family it. edition. Ten minutes. Your throat's hurting, so we're going to not hold you up. It's nine o'clock then, that's about time. That's about time, and they're like, chill out. All right, well, do some 
genius edition. Um, we'll do some celebrity edition just for fun. Don't forget the kiddie That's one. all I've got. Don't forget the kiddie one. Where's the kiddie ones? That's all I've got currently. Listen, listen. That's all I've got currently. Kiddie ones um, are upstairs somewhere. Okay, we'll go with... What is this? So this is celebrity edition, so you need to know your celebs. <laughs> I would have got that. I would have got that. Yeah, we'll go with these ones. Had trouble getting on, could not get YouTube working. That's a shame. It's on Facebook as well. You can watch on YouTube and on Facebook. Um, so next week, I'm going to just write... I'm going to write this in the YouTube. So we might... The quickest, if you can't find my... Ch oh, you just click on my name. So I'm going to put a massive arrow. Do -do 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 -do. So if you are in the YouTube chat, I don't know if you can click on my name, but or you can look me up. That will be the YouTube, and the quickest way to get to it currently is www.geocacher.tv. That will take you straight to it. So G-E-O-C-A-C-H-E-R.tv. That will take you straight to my channel. Um, so because of music licensing, we'll do... Nikki's Facebook, if you want to watch on Facebook. My YouTube, if you want to watch on YouTube. Um, because she... I don't really do Facebook, to be honest with you. I don't care much for people's cats and what people had for dinner. <laughs> she loves it. She, she, if you want, Send her messages of what you had for dinner. She loves I it. I do not like that. <laughs> Pictures of your cats. Yeah. So if you want to watch on YouTube, oh, if you just, is that my channel yeah. you just put up? Oh, there you go. If you put that in your, oh, I could copy and paste it. There you go. Nikki's put it in both. So if you want to watch on YouTube next week, go to my channel. And if you want to watch on Facebook, stay where you are. Excuse me. What was that? Right, so. Was that air? That was my, that was a lot of air. <laughs> so we're going to do 10 minutes of, uh, trivial pursuit and then we're going to call that a night just because Nikki, um, we, we need to rest her throat and I can't talk to myself well done David, David said he got all his flags right tonight, well done David I'm very proud of you <laughs> that's good, oh, I've also got this idea Nick Yeah. I've got this idea so Paul, I just had a subscriber on YouTube, Paula Miranda of we could have a guest quiz host. What do you think to that? Yeah, we could do, couldn't we? Because this has worked with me and you, I can... We have the technology, ladies and gentlemen, to bring another, a third person into the chat um, to do a guest quiz. Alfie, maybe? For kids' quiz? Maybe. Um, could have Alfie. Anyone who fancies it. have Alfie it. and Thomas on a quick... Do a kids quiz together. For our Thomas. Uh, yes. He would actually probably but, enjoy that. Yeah, he might. He might. But we can, yeah. So what we can do is you can definitely bring someone else into the chat. You can use your phone, <laughs> um, or laptop. Will probably be a bit better, but the phone will do. Uh, uh, when do if, if some. If someone wants to partake in that, then we could do a little test during the week and make sure it's all working and then <clears throat> get you in for 10 questions or something like that. So it's something to think about. Right. So this round is called the winging it round with Trivia Pursuit cards. And question one is which American rock star's grave became a Paris landmark in 1971? I don't even know that one. Which rock star grave? I would have got that. <laughs> they, chip, they chip pieces off of it. Which American rock star's grave became a Paris Paris landmark in 1971? <laughs> I like this band. Think of the year. So obviously he died, Nick, in 1971. Right. Or that. So it's the 60s music. Think of the bands I have listened to. Right. From the 60s rock bands, and there's your answer. Okay. There's only a few, isn't there? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Pete. Shh. Pete, Pete, Pete. 
Write it on a piece of paper. <laughs> Question two. Oh dear, it's getting to that time, I know. Who is actor Nicolas Cage's famous director uncle? Well done, Dave from Ebb's Fleet. You've got all of the flags. Well done. Well done, Dave. Uh, question two. Who is actor Nicolas Cage's famous director uncle? And I got that one as well. Are you going to... How are you going to sleep tonight? Are you going to make the bed up or are you going to... What does that mean? <laughs> what was that? That was Thomas. <laughs> Where did he come from? Oh, he's just... No, he's just sending me speaking messages. Oh, right. <coughs> oh, I'm just going to lie on this. I'm not making it up. <coughs> okay. So we could... Um... Eat too much wine. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Right, question three. What does the lovely Jane Davidson unexpectedly turn out to be in the crying game? These are hard. What does... No, the first two were easy. This one's hard. What does the lovely Jane Davidson unexpectedly turn out to be in the crying game? <coughs> Can you get that? No. I can tell you something. The, t the temperature certainly dropped in this log cabin. Okay. <coughs> it's... If I wasn't almost finished, I'd put the log burner on. But then that takes an hour to get to temperature. Yeah. Oh, but the other one joined me now. Right, question four. Are you going to have both the cats in no. here tonight? Oh, yeah, gone somewhere. The stripes wandered in. Okay. <coughs> question four. Which pop band brought fame to Kim Marsh, who once took part in an EastEnders crowd scene? Ooh, which will claim to fame. What did you do? I was in EastEnders. Oh, I was part of the crowd. Part of the crowd. <laughs> so here's a story all about how my life got flipped. No, here's a story, right, of when I was at school, there was a teacher called Mr. McVarlan, and his claim to fame was he was a Nazi in Indiana Jones and the last crusade <coughs> with, I think that was the one with Sean Connery <coughs> anyway when they in Indiana Jones the last crusade when they had the bonfire and all the Nazis um, doing their stuff around it he was one of those extras and he said that I think they were throwing bibles or something on the fire they were actually telephone directors there you go he tells every he told every generation of school kid every year this same story. You could go back. You can't see the answers because I'm holding more than one card. I'm not that silly, girl. I'm not that silly. Wayne was on Top Gear once. He went through all those questions. Was, was you part of um, the crowd or was you did you go around the track? So question, that was question four, which pop band brought fame to Kim Marsh? Question five, which of Doctor Who's assistants was the first female singer to have three number one hits before her 18th birthday? Oh, I know this. I know this. Do you know this, Nick? Say again. <laughs> which of Doctor Who's assistants was the first female singer to have three number one hits before her 18th birthday? No. Any ideas? No. No idea. Do you, do you want to have a clue? Run then. Uh, if I might be wrong, I'm going to just check if I'm wrong. <laughs> no, I'm right. I'm right. She was married to Chris Evans. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. I'll whisper it to you. Shall I whisper it? <laughs> yes, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> it's Harry Potter, Alfie. <laughs> didn't say they were for these questions good point, Claire. Good point. <laughs> you can see the answers you can see the answers when you do that yeah but um anyway <laughs> number six what part of the i'm doing the spinning thing on the chair have you noticed yeah i've I'm noticed you, yeah because i should be sitting on a chair that doesn't spin but I've, tonight i'm sitting on a chair that does spin and also that's come down a bit 
Right. What part of a tree was Joaquin Phoenix's first name before he decided to change it? Oh, that's good, John. Alf is trying to plan his questions already. That's good. Yeah, he can. He can definitely come and um, we can get him in. Which, <laughs> which part of a tree was Joaquin Phoenix's first name before he decided to change it? I think it's Joe Quinn or Jack Quinn or something Jack like Quinn. that. So he's the guy. Jack who, Quinn, isn't it? like he's a, the like guy who did. Jay. He's the guy who did Joker in the in the latest Joker film, which was spectacular. If you haven't watched that, you should definitely go and watch it. What did we start to watch last night? Uh, Gangs of London. Yeah. Wow, that was good, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Quite I'm good. gonna finish. I'm gonna finish that while showing that caravan. If you haven't watched Gangs of London yet, episode one was just like. Firstly, is this amount of gore necessary? Well, yeah, it was very um, much so. Yeah, but I, I enjoyed it. I really did. Okay, so we are now on question seven. Who made up the monkeys with Davy Jones, Peter Talk, and Michael Nesmith? Hey, with the monkeys. <laughs> Monkey, monkeying around. <laughs> Who made up the monkeys with Davy Jones, Peter Talk, and Michael Neesmith? <laughs> Definitely, John. Watch it. Gangs of London. Uh, we did something the other day as well, which I thought well, I quite enjoyed. You weren't so much into it, was you, Nikki? The Colony on was it on Netflix or? Yeah, no, Prime? I got into that because it had uh, <coughs> Sawyer from Lost in it. <coughs> yeah, so it's got Sawyer from Lost, and it's got. Dr. Sarah Tancretti in yeah, it from, from Prison, Break. Prison Break. And she basically, oh, computer's gone off. I need to fix that. Write that on my little list of things to do. Stop computer going to sleep. Uh, so it's got, so yeah, Sawyer plays basically the same kind of character he played in Lost. Yeah? yeah. Would you agree? Yeah. With it? And, she plays and then similar. Sarah Tancretti. Huh? She's played similar. Girl, you know, girlfriend, wife, things as yeah. prison. Yeah, so she's her, she's Sawyer's wife, and she basically plays the same the sort of character, character she played yeah. in Prison Break and The Walking Dead, and then um, and this again. It's very stereotypical, um, not stereotypical, very <laughs> stereotype, typecasted, very typecasted character. Right. Um, Seven, eight. Which, yeah, Nick, you might get this one. Which spicy lady's short fling with Robbie Williams was supposedly the inspiration for his hit Eternity? Don't know. It's going to be one or two, I think. <coughs> Which spicy lady's short fling with Robbie Williams was supposedly the inspiration for his hit Eternity? It's one of two, I think. Yeah. Pete, we did watch Ozark um, yeah. when season one first came out. I don't know why we didn't didn't finish it. We probably just found something. We we can. It doesn't take much to take our attention away and start a new series. If you, as soon as you find something that, that you like a little bit better, then that's it. Boom, you just go through them all. I think my top my highlights on Netflix is probably things like Bates Motel, which was especially yeah, good. Yeah, really good. It's on Netflix or. <laughs> Prime, but yeah, I really enjoyed Bates Motel. Um, even though it's going back, I did like Lost. It's pretty good. It like dragged out. And we, we we said the other day as well, Prison Break was great. Um, Prison Break was good season one and two, and then it just then they're just milking it for you know it was crap after that. Um, Afterlife season two, yeah, we watched that. We finished that. A couple of days ago, that is really good. Ricky Gervais is very, he knows how oh, to pull on your Ricky emotions Gervais, in yeah. that one. Um, yeah, so six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. So, question nine Which aptly titled music hears Marilyn Monroe singing Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend? Which aptly titled musical hears Marilyn Monroe singing Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend? Yeah, Colony was good, so, so we. So basically, they've got like Los Angeles has been sectioned off into different um, colonies, and they keep talking about their guests, their hosts, which are, as far as I could tell, some maybe some sort of alien race or something just come down 
and they're kind of keeping you humans at bay and then there's these red hats guys which are like the military police and they just they wear red hats go around really proper like i guess the only thing you can compare them to would be like the ss of the of the nazi era that 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 sort of thing and then it's all about the these guys against the um the rebels or you know the, whatever they're called it's good it's it's all right actually it's very it's a bit sci-fi so you need to be into that talking sci-fi picard's good but i think we covered that last week i like picard um but i never watched i never bothered to watch star trek on netflix i did one or two episodes i don't like all the light glares that come in all the new light the, and, I, and i found it very unnecessary to have all the flares on the canvas i mean what is that all about when you're in the doesn't happen but we don't walk around having flares everywhere do you <laughs> question 10 which member of a major rock band played jimmy rabbit's sister in the commandments no, i don't know that one i don't know really any of those is that a bat is that isn't that a, a, a movie it must be a film yeah commitment the commitments you twat <laughs> sorry <laughs> which member of a major rock band played jimmy rabbit's of Rabate's sister in the commitments. So I blame the beer. Yeah, I blame the beer too. You do, you do, um, Rabbit. you do need a beer because you can't sleep usually without me. Yeah, I would normally get myself and comfort out. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Scott, yes, I watch the detector detectorists. I love detectorists. I love anything really with Mackenzie Crook in it. I think he's pretty funny. Um, I've got metal detectors and stuff myself. So language, Timothy. Claire said, "Language, Timothy." Language, <laughs> Timothy. Right. Let's go through these questions again because I am getting cold, and I finished my beer, and Nikki is getting tired by the looks. Of I it. am actually getting quite question, tired. Question one: Which American rock star's grave became a Paris landmark in 1971? Two: Who is actor Nicolas Cage's famous director uncle? Three. Uh, what does the lovely Jane Davison unexpectedly turn out to be in the crying game? For which pop band brought okay. fame to Kim Marsh, who once took part in the EastEnders crowd scene? I know that one. They probably could have done that question without that EastEnders bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, five, which of Doctor Who's assistants was the first female singer to have three number one hits before her 18th birthday? Hi, Danny Snow from Dave Fryat. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Uh, what if I six? Which part of a tree was Joe Quinn Phoenix's first name before he decided to change it? It's not going to be bark. Is I was going to say bark or twig or skip. No, yeah, I'm going to see what it is. <coughs> oh, okay. Leaf. Still a stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you just said it. <laughs> Uh, seven, who made up the monkeys with Davy Jones, Peter Talk and Michael Naismith? Eight, which spicy lady short fling with Robbie Williams was supposedly the inspiration for his hit Eternity? Uh, nine, which aptly titled musical hears Marilyn Monroe singing Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend? And ten, which number of a major rock band played Jimmy Rabbit's sister in The Commitments? Commitments. I said commitments. I've got a cat meowing, but I don't know where he's meowing. The door's open. Hello, Danny Snow. There you go. Oh, Danny oh. Snow. Huh? you got an itchy nose. Where's she oh, gone? Out. Come on, we're going to do the answers, woman. Where have you gone? Come here, come here. This stripes has come in. He's gone onto the, the di dinette bit. Jump from there to the bunk bed. Now he can't get down. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Answers. Question one was Jim Morrison. Two, Francis Ford Coppola. Three, a man. <laughs> Four, did you guess that Kim Marsh one, Nick? Um, or... What was it? What, what, what did she make her fame in? She was Pop Idol. Um, it was a band called... I can't think what the band's called. You said you knew yeah, it. Yeah, I thought you was on about Pop Idol. <laughs> Hearsay. Hearsay, that's it. Of course it is. Five was Billy Piper. Yeah. Six was this is Joe Quinn Phoenix's Leaf. full name. Leaf, yeah. Set. Oh, let me drop the cards. Seven. 
The Monkeys, Davy Jones, Peter Talk, Michael Naismith and Mickey Dolez. Eight, Jerry Halliwell. Yeah, I was going to say Jerry or um, Sporty Spice. Mal- Nine, sport- Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Oh, yeah. And the member of a major rock band. Which member of a major rock band played Jimmy Ver? I wouldn't say they're a major rock band, but they certainly are a good band. Andrea Core oh, yeah. from The Cores. I wouldn't say they're rock, would you? No. They're more... Da, 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 Maybe twins or triplets or quads or whatever it is. <laughs> the call. Oh, what did we watch the other day? Triplets on Netflix. Yeah, that's really good. That was amazing, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. If you haven't watched that, it's definitely worth a watch. Yeah. Three Strangers. So it's, kind called. Of find each... it's called Three Strangers. Okay. And on Netflix. Yeah, yeah? Netflix. Oh, well done, Claire. Excellent. Oh, what was eight? What was eight? What was eight? Oh, I'll put the cards back in the box. Um, it was a Marilyn Monroe one. Two, five, six, seven, eight. Diamonds are girls. No, eight was Jerry Halliwell. Oh, okay. Jerry Halliwell. Nine then. Nick wants nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Gentlemen 